Serving on a Navy submarine takes skill, training, courage, and the ability to work well with others in tight quarters on one of the nation's most impressive vessels. It's, it's just an amazing piece of equipment between the weapon systems, the gear we have, and the greatest group of guys you'd ever get to work with. Rob Banasiewicz is a longtime supporter of the Dolphin Scholarship Foundation, whose mission is to help dependents of submarine personnel attend college. Hundreds have received the aid, including Rob's son, Aaron. So if he's uh, symbolic and care of what kind of people are getting these scholarships, boy, you can't do any better. Aaron is a recipient of a Dolphin scholarship that Richard Mixad, an engineering professor at the University of Virginia, started in memory of his brother Stephen, one of 99 crewmen who died aboard the USS Scorpion in 1968 a tragedy that still resonates with submariners today. These guys, they gave up their life. You know, they made the ultimate sacrifice for the country's future. And the future is young people. What better can you do than help young people get educated? I, I wish that I had the words to articulate how humbling it is to be associated with a man who at my age decided to enlist and serve his country. And I mean, it's, I'm speechless to, to think about it and to have a great relationship with Dr. McSad adds so much more to it. So it's it's humbling to say the least. John Haynes was the first Dolphin Scholar back in 1961. Well, it was in the beginning of my sophomore year that I was advised that, wow, you won it. Uh, there's only one and you got it. And it's certainly gonna help with your expenses at the school. Haynes, an avid artist who painted this picture of a submarine, would later become a lawyer and general counsel for the Panama Canal Commission. Like Haynes, many Dolphin scholars enjoy productive careers after college. We have doctors, we have lawyers, we have active duty naval officers. Andrew Clark is the executive director of the Dolphin Scholarship Foundation. It's just a joy to be able to still be involved with the submarine community and be a part of the, uh, the, the giving process. Todd Motley's daughter Abigail is a Dolphin scholar who remembers the long separations from her dad as well as the happy homecomings. For one time we like we had a big limo and had sparkling <laughs> grape juice in the in the limo waiting for him. Um, those were big days. She is now at Virginia Tech. I'm going to the College of William and Mary in the fall. With the assistance of a Dolphin Foundation scholarship. I am very grateful that there are organizations like the Dolphin Scholarship Foundation that give scholarships to students to promote education and to help them in their educational endeavors and I am very honored to have received one. You must be very proud of her. I am. Yeah. I am. She's worked very hard and um, I appreciate that there are things out there that acknowledge that. Dolphin scholars are chosen through a blind process that considers their academic performance, extracurricular activities, community service, references, and essays financial need can be considered once a candidate is selected. Due to fiscal limitations, less than a quarter of the applicants who apply actually receive scholarships, which are supported by merchandise sales, fundraising events, individual and corporate contributions, and submarine spouse groups who were instrumental in the foundation's establishment. It really is an impressive uh, organization and an impressive program that they have going now. Dolphin, Dolphin Scholarship, Scholarship Foundation, Foundation, turning dreams into reality, reality, one scholarship at a time. The online application and more information on the Foundation can be found at dolphinscholarship.org. <laughs>